Hello everyone, my name is Udita Kuntia. I am from class 4 to at school of nation and today I'll tell you a very beautiful story. And that story name is How the Onion Got Its Layers. So here in this story there was a king and a queen who wanted a child very badly. They they always wanted to have a child. So one day they went to a goddess or uh, went into a forest and there lived people would say that in this forest this goddess is living this goddess is living so we must always worship her go and worship her so the king and queen had heard about this so they came to that forest and told to the goddess that uh they they told that we have one wish and that wish is we want to have one child it may be the king of this kingdom the future king or a princess i mean a prince or a princess anything is okay son or daughter so the goddess said i will grant you a daughter but on one condition she would always want new dresses every day she would never wear one dress twice or she would never wear a dress of different color but the same design twice means every day it must be of different design it must be of different color and it must be of different shape also so remember that and uh, tell me your wish so the girl king and the queen said okay we agreed so they said that Oh, so sorry so the goddess said that okay i'll grant you a daughter so soon the king and a queen had a beautiful daughter the uh, the princess of that kingdom so she was very very beautiful and she had also she always even when she was just a very small child she loved to wear new dresses as if it was a hobby where well, so then every day she wore a new dress each each day we just think that all oh, let us wear this again and we continue but she was very strict i want a new dress means i want a new dress and she would never put the old clothes on her body again means one day she wear if she wear one kind of dress today a pink dress she now not wear that dress any more she just throw it so everyone liked her everyone appreciated her and everyone liked her it's everyone only wanted to see the princess all the time and she's so beautiful she was so one day the king realized that is just a waste of time giving prince uh, giving his princess all those because Uh, he was wasting his money, uh, hiring the best tailors, and that uh, people who make the the tailors that stitch the clothes, and more people are there, who the traders, businessmen who like to sell the clothes to the king, and like this. So the king would uh, so the. king uh, liked so the king said that it's really a waste of time and waste of money also of money also and what you what's the use of it my princess wears this only once this whole beautiful dress and uh, this uh, and she doesn't allow anyone also to wear it's just a waste of money so he said to the princess from today onwards you will get no new dresses wear your old dresses so the queen said no no i can't wear this and the and then the king said okay if i i will tell you i will advise you to go to the uh, go to the forest and there meet the goddess and ask her about your problem so princess be was not very happy and she went to the goddess who was in the forest and there she told the forest she told the goddess that 
I want to have one wish and that wish is uh, that I want uh, every day I want new new dresses to wear but everyone says no to me they say that no you don't you don't need so many dresses to wear you just need one dress and you can manage with that till two days which today you wear that and the next day it's washed and then the third day you can wear it like this you can continue but i say that i want new dresses every day who cares nobody cares about me i please tell me something now so the goddess said okay okay every day i have i mean i have a solution to your problem and every day when you will wake up you will find a very beautiful new dress beside your bed so the princess said okay and she went home the first when then when she slept the goddess came and placed one beautiful dress and that was of different designs and colors and shapes so then the when the princess woke up she saw the dress and it's one thing i told, didn't tell you that the forest that in the forest the princess went there and asked for a new dress every day the goddess said yes i will give you the new dress but on one condition your dress should not be worn by anyone or else if anyone wears you got you would be transferred immediately uh, if in front of me means you are in uh, like you are in your bedroom wearing this you gave it to uh, some other girl so if she wore it you would be you would be uh, in a blink of eyes you would be in front of me and the princess said oh okay i don't i will not give it to anyone and she went back to the hub to the palace and there everyone said did you get a solution to your problem and she said yes i got a solution but now i'll tell you the best part of the story so one day there was a big festival and the princess got her dresses and one day there was a very big festival in the kingdom everyone liked this festival actually don't i actually don't know what's the name of the festival but i had heard that uh, it was a big festival on that day and the princess wore her best dress she went to the goddess before night means uh, yesterday night uh, if today is the festival she went yesterday to meet the goddess she said i want the best dress for tomorrow's biggest festival the goddess said okay i'll give you and next day she woke up and found a very very beautiful dress that she had ever seen she got up excited and quickly she got dressed up she went she went uh, down i mean she came back means she went out of her bedroom and then she came out of the palace for the festival that was been organized uh, just in the outskirts of the kingdom so she went for that day and the king and the queen were already at the, they were already there and the princess was a little late coming so after she came everyone just gathered around her to admire her beauty and the princess just showed off and then suddenly a young girl uh, she looked a poor girl not rich uh, not which like the princess I means to her the, to the princess she was just like a very poor girl so she was dressed in a very simple sari and she had flowers in her hair and she didn't wear any jewelry just but she looked very very beautiful just like the princess but in a simple dress she looked more beautiful so everyone like this everyone were gathered around the princess and they suddenly came out and gathered here around the girl and the princess felt very very jealous of that girl she said that i felt very jealous i must go and take 
uh, her sari from that poor girl and I will for, and I will give her my dress and she will wear it. I know that. So she went with her dress and gave it to the girl. The girl was very happy. Princess the princess was giving uh, the princess was giving her a dress and she was very happy. So in the kingdom everyone called that princess Bina. I mean Bina. So so she was very happy. Princess Bina giving her her dress. Wow. It's great. So she accepted it and gave her, her sari. Then what happened? You as you know that I told you that there was a condition that the goddess had kept. I think you remember it. But I also remember it. Maybe you must have also remembered it. But Princess Vina had forgot about it. Now, what she do? She had already forgotten. She had wore a sari. That simple sari. And the girl had already worn that magnificent, beautiful dress. She looked more beautiful in that. Everyone were gathered around her and more and more people joined those. Then Princess Bina was suddenly transferred in front of the goddess. She suddenly remembered that. Uh, she suddenly remembered. Oh no! And the goddess said, I will give you a punishment for breaking your rules, for breaking my rules. And I told you very clearly that you must not give your dress to anyone. And you gave it to a very poor girl. How dare you? She said. And then she just said that. And that punishment, what was, you know, that it was uh, uh, like uh, she said to the Princess Bina that you would be transferred to another world where there would be no humans and you and before you want to go give your last wish means it must not be you want to live except that something else so the she said to the goddess that i want to live but uh, means uh, the goddess said that you uh, give any wish but accept the wish that where you will wish to live in the kingdom where you are born. So the princess said, okay, okay. But first transform me into something that when people would watch me, they would, uh, means they would remember the beautiful princess being and that how beautiful I was. The goddess said, okay, I'll turn you into a plant. But which plant it was? It was the onion. And, uh, and when we cut it, we cry also, as you know, when we cut the onion. And also the onion has many, many layers. And what are the layers, you know? The layers are all the dresses that Princess Bina wore. So that was the story of how the onion got its layers. Thank you. Have a nice day.